that's the whole thing about fashion is that I never, I didn't get into it because of fashion. Yeah, yeah. I got into it because I liked making things. Sure. Okay, it is Thursday, January 12th. I'm Erica. This is the Token CEO Podcast. It's episode 249. My desk, I feel like, is extra, extra messy because it's the beginning of the year and, you know, like the beginning of the year is just bananas. We have an awesome interview today. We have a great episode. We have Cynthia Rowley on. I love Cynthia Rowley. I've been wearing Cynthia Rowley forever. Not like way back, but as soon as I could like afford pretty dresses that have like bright colors and prints on them, Cynthia Rowley was my girl. She does neon, I think, in a way that nobody does. Um, so I was pretty psyched to meet her. She has a great story. She grew up in the Midwest. So she was always really into fashion, but kind of quirky and weird. She followed the beat of her own drum. She was told she didn't have the right chops or she didn't do things the right way. She just has great energy about her. She's an explorer. She's a surfer. Um, she's clearly very entrepreneurial and highly, highly creative and also seems super intuitive. So I'm excited for you guys to meet her and to hear our conversation. We talk about everything from faking it till you make it, how she got her start in her career, how she thinks about seizing opportunity, her work ethic, who she surrounds herself with, how she runs her business, um, and a whole lot more. So thank you to Cynthia Rowley for joining us, and I hope you get a lot out of this interview. We're going to try to go see her, actually. All right, so what's going on in the Cynthia Rowley world? Are we recording? Yeah, right we now? just we just hop right into it. Okay, here. hold on. <laughs> We're gonna regroup. Mm. Okay, what's going on? Um, I mean, just it feels like the pace is getting crazier and crazier yeah. and crazier to the point where I'm like, how much more can yeah, we take on. Can we take on? Hmm. It's crazy. And it's, and you know, I, I mean, everyone says like, oh, you should be so grateful. But it's like, I don't even have time to like. Yeah, you're like gratitude or not gratitude. Pops I'm my head busy. out and yeah, be like, yeah. wow, I'm so lucky. You know, huh. it's really. It's, um, tell people your story. I think your story is so interesting. I mean, you know, it's so funny. I listened to your Christina Tosi. Okay, she's so great. She, I love her. I've known her for a long time. Mm -hmm. She did a pop-up in our Montauk store. Okay. Um, with her first milk bar when okay. she first started. But basically, take her story and put clothes instead of cookies. <laughs> okay. And it's kind of the Your same story. thing. story. I'm from the Midwest. I'm from a small town. I went to art school, started making clothes when I was seven, and then sewed and sewed and sewed, and then randomly uh, got stopped on a subway train in Chicago and was asked about my a jacket I was wearing and then that was my first sale and it just sort of by a buyer by a buyer and I didn't even know what that was I didn't know anything I really didn't know anything and I actually just kind of I mean it's a whole and I'm just turning my phone up it's a it's really I guess the fake it till you make yeah. it kind of story. But then also like a lot of fucking hard work and and always kind of like, I think it's like being able to anticipate the next thing. Yeah. Because I do feel proud that we've always like kind of anticipated the next evolution the trend. in fashion. Yeah. And that's why we, you know, why we've had such longevity yeah it's amazing but I also read that you um when you were in art school everyone was like mm, no I hate your stuff hate your stuff hate your stuff and you were <laughs> like mm, I don't care if you hate my stuff I like my stuff I love that well I mean I did get I got thrown out of my junior fashion show in school and then my senior show for was, being badly behaved or they didn't like the no clothes. they didn't they thought it was the clothes were too crazy Oh, they really? Thought it was too what a much. compliment. I know. And so that sort of set, set the tone then, I think, for me to kind of be like the outsider. Yeah, for sure. Or the gave underdog. And like, and allowed me to just not really try to fit yeah. in. I just was doing my own thing. Like, I kind of like, okay, whatever. Yeah, sure. I'm going to make the clothes I like. Yeah. And, and you know, that's that's amazing sometimes and really, really hard yeah. other times. Yeah. And in the beginning, I didn't know, like I never even thought to myself that, 
you know, a fall collection might be sold in Florida or mm -hmm. Arizona. And so my fall collection was like mohair sweaters with mufflers and yeah, and yeah, for and real like fall. ridiculous. Yeah. yeah. Cause that's what fall for in cold Chicago weather. is yeah. like. <laughs> yeah. So, you know, there was, there's a lot of, huh. there was a huge, huge, huge learning curve. But then again, you know, and again, in the same way, that was something that made it easy for me to sort of stay in that mindset sure. and still constantly be learning and, and That's evolving. so cool. I love your use of color. I think you, I think there's two things you do so well, like the swimsuit, like the, the, oh, the wet blonde suits? color, the wetsuits are so great. I love the wetsuits. I have your hats. I have your dresses. I have your blouses. Like, oh, thank you. I think you do color so well and that it's, it's like structured, but not structured. Your clothing is, it's not like you look, feel like a fat blob. It's like super comfortable, but that also looks sexy. Oh, thank you. That's, you just nailed it. Is that the brand? You, I I'm like gonna, it, the, and the yeah. color's unexpected. Like I like That's when there's exactly. a stripe on something and then a flower with something that a flower shouldn't go with. See, for me, it's like, it's all visual and, and also functionality yeah. too. And so to, hear it put into words is really magical to oh, me because I, I don't really think about it in terms of like how to describe it in words hmm. i only you just feel it i can just see everything and how know. many designers do you have do you have like a lot of designers I were, it? no it's basically three of us okay that design everything from pickleball paddles to wetsuits to swim to dresses okay to like shoes everything pickleball we'll, very timely that's very sharp on your part yeah that's like very in the zeitgeist. we have a new all sport collection that's going to launch um i think late january okay and but we have pickleball paddles now that's cute that's smart i'm into it i'm into every sport i mean that's what i think sort of differentiates us mm -hmm. from other designer you know contemporary brands is that um you know we have this sport yeah aspect yeah that's to right it, which is that has the function and the fashion. That's and... so smart. I never thought about that, but you're totally right. Because I would wear a like wetsuit and a trucker hat and a caftan. I also feel like your stuff is better quality. Oh, thank it, like, you. It holds up. Okay, so that's cool. So, and then who do you think like when you're designing for someone, who are you de like? Who's in your head? Or do you design for you? No, I mean, well, it's really it's interesting because it's evolved over okay. the years and like. There's certain things that I, you know, are really personal to me. And then other things, we have a really young audience as well. It's sort of intergenerational. Yeah, sure. And, you know, something that I feel like, oh, I really need this. I want this um, might be different than what yep. someone else. And so it's interesting to sort of try to blend all that into yeah. one thing. Yeah, you know, like cool. who's like, how is this going to become this uh intergenerational piece and are you a good business person or did you just have good business people with you i have no i'm this i'm the ceo of my company all right so you're I'm, the business person i am the i have to say that through the years i always i mean i went to art school yeah so like people always said you know people in my in my school were like oh i hate math i actually love math yeah sure and um you know, people always said, you need a backer, you need somebody, a business person. And I've tried it. Mm -hmm. Didn't and it, like it. It never works. And so in March 2020, when I thought that was a nice yeah. career you had, Cynthia. Yeah, yeah. Good, I was, it was like, a good run. And that lasted like 48 hours. Yeah. And I was like, okay, get your shit together, Cynthia. And I took the most creative, smart people that I've worked with for a long time. And together, we masterminded this new strategy, and I made the creative people part of the business mm. instead of, we were always segregated out. You know, we were always, like, not allowed to, you know, know about all the... Financial. You know, yeah. And, the, yeah. and it actually, mm. there's no way mm -hmm. that anything can exist without the balance sure. of the two. You know, sure. art and commerce have yeah. to go together. Yep. And so... You, I can't design something without knowing what the business sure. prospects of sure. that are. Sure, and the financials are, are in, yeah. the, in a way. That's smart. And so that changed everything. Yeah. And we uh, 
made a more sustainable um, strategy where we're making small quantities, dropping two or three times a week. Huh. New product, but in small quantities that sell out right yep. away. Yep. Yep. All on, all online. Um, we we work with other drop ships. Okay. You know, we work with um, Matches, Nota Porte, okay, Top yep. Nordstrom. So we work with other retailers, but only um, in more of a drop ship. That's way. smart. So that we have to the keep inventory. the cachet. And it goes fast. So I think in that way, you know, we keep our audience more engaged yep. with new products totally. all the time. There's no waste. There's no excess because yep. we sell out. Yep. And it just makes me go completely bonkers trying to design all yeah. that stuff all the time. Yep. But it's really based on data and yeah, it's you what know, the engine wants. And, yeah, that's yeah, really smart. It's the engine. We're running in front of yeah, a you're living running in train the all the time. I think your e-marketing is also very sharp. Like your ads follow me everywhere. Like, oh my god! I know. I'm sorry about that. No, but they're I'm like smart. We have like stalker ads. You like have, you have, I you're I have like the apologize. queen of stalker ads. Don't apologize. I'm always like I'm so sorry. You but can, uh, we're so smart. You're like, are like, we know what you're doing. We, I get all your email blasts, and I think it's an email from you, and then it's an ad. I'm like, I'm sorry, I, you can unsubscribe. I'll never know. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I will never know. So. But then they're like, but I might miss something. Yeah, I and think. then they're like, but it's cute. Yeah, so. I like the design of it. I think that that's smart too, because you became like you played in you play in fast fashion without being fast fashion. Do you know, like you're harnessing the zeitgeist, which is like instant now small quantity cachet you have to have it but you still have the quality and the design and it's there's still yeah. the principle behind it yeah 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 it's to well i mean the big difference is the quantity yeah. it's like fast fashion is just it's like, like a glut yeah. yeah and ours is more precious yeah more but, hands on, but you're in the you're in the surf, like yeah, because because fast fashion satiates the consumer. Like, I guess I think. we're we're doing all all the hard part of yeah. fast fashion without the well, you're doing the big yeah money payoff. Totally, <laughs> that's all right. But I think fast fashion is going to have a reckoning. I don't know. I'm surprised that you, that young people wear it so much. Well, I mean, sustainability is yeah, like important. the most important yeah. thing right yeah. now, like anything you can do. So we're trying. It's really hard. It's really hard, but we're trying. You're trying, yeah. And are you based here? Based in New York, yeah. And all your designers are here? Do you have we're a studio all here? here? Can we come see it? Yes, come Oh my to God, that'd studio. be so fun. I want to come to the studio. We reinvented again. This is all like new. We reinvented the way we work. And so now it's a retail store photo studio because now you know everything happens content together. is so important mm -hmm. i mean it's really the key to everything and so we shoot there we design there we, that's so cool yeah so let's take a quick break and say thank you to Omega Accounting Solutions. We love Omega Accounting Solutions because they help small businesses. What's awesome about Omega Accounting Solutions is that they can help you figure out if you have a small business, all of the possible tax credits that you're eligible for, how to give, how to make the most of your finances, how to run your business super smoothly. They've got analytics, they've got accountants, they've got a whole bunch of people inside of their shop, and their only goal is to help simplify and empower small businesses to be in control of their finances. There's something out there right now called the employee retention credit. So if you had a business during COVID, you employed people, you could get up to $26,000 per employee just for having employed them. You can get that as a tax credit. Omega Accounting Solutions knows all about it. So you can call 800-300-9ERC. That's 800-300-9ERC or go to omegataxcredits.com slash barstool sports. All right, now back to Cynthia. Who, what are brands that you love? Oh my God. I mean, I like, I like sporty oh, brands. Oh, that's cool, like what? Well, we, we did a collaboration with, you know, I started making wetsuits with Roxy. Yeah. And because I met a guy, I was surfing in Montauk, guy paddles up to me, oh, you're that designer and you surf, you should design for us. That's how that started like okay. 12 years ago. I designed for them for three years. And then they were like, you know, Quicksilver was going through yeah. a lot of changes. They said, here's all the factories. Here's everything. Go, go with God. You yeah, know, yeah. You make it now. Yeah. So we did. 
And um, I really, so then I went back last year, we launched a Serp and Snow. Yep, I, I remember the ski one. Yep. And it sold out in like two weeks, That's I think. A, and are you a big athlete? I'm like a, I'm You're, like an evil Knievel. Oh, you are. Like, we'll I love try that anything. about you. Really? Okay, you look like I'm that. friends with Garrett McNamara, the 100-foot wave guy. Oh, really? Went out with him in Nazare. Not on a 100-foot wave, but... But close. But, yeah. Was it scary? Um, yeah. Yeah? Definitely. Do you have great abs? Um, I feel like you need great abs to be a great surfer. Do you agree with that? No. Uh, no. I don't okay. think so. I mean, you need a good core. You need okay. really strong arms okay so like paddling. hold on the board yeah yeah unless you're unless you're getting a toe in yeah but had all my front teeth knocked out by a wakeboard oh wow Cynthia. Um, let's see well they look nice now <laughs> i like all my front teeth to be knocked out wait i had a question for you on this um do you think that most of the greatest things in your business endeavors have been like drive-bys like Somebody walks by you, they see a coat you're wearing. 100%. Somebody like paddles up to you, you're in the water, they're, you're like, oh, I'll just have a surf business. Like, I think that that is one of the most important things in life. Okay. Is that you, the universe is going to bring you stuff. And I don't yeah. mean to sound like too yeah, crazy yeah. like that, but, the, but things are going to come mm -hmm. to you. And it's being able to see the yep. opportunity in that yep. uh, like moment. Yeah. Yep. You know, and what is the opportunity? Harness it and make it your own. Yeah, that's you cool. You know, yep. I think that that's a really important thing for mm -hmm. an entrepreneur, but also just just a life. human. Yeah, I love yeah. that. Have you read The Alchemist? No. Oh, you got to read The Alchemist. This this is the story of The Alchemist that the world really? presents you things, but then it's gonna it's gonna test you a little bit on how much you want it. Yeah. Oh, I'll get it for you. You'll oh like my that. god. Yeah, that's that so is fun. my that's my that's your philosophy. philosophy. Okay, what's your favorite color? Um, rainbow sparkle. No, oh, I'm just kidding. I mean, that's what content that's Kim's what a five sweater is amazing. Say. But that's would, kind of a great thing no, to love. No, I think, um, yeah, it's just like children. You can't pick a favorite. Yeah. Okay. But do you wear all black? No, I wear, I'm wearing silver boots. I mean, you are wearing silver boots. So I would agree with that. <laughs> um, no, I love color. Okay. I love color. I, I just. Anything. I, honestly, anything goes. I. Almost don't have time yeah. for my personal yep. fashion unless I'm going out, and then in that case, I get dressed in literally under ten minutes. Okay, and out the door. Yep. Um, but day to day, I you know I ride a city bike to work every okay, day. Okay, you're like, like in the mix. Yeah, I can't really. You're be in the fashion mix. It's probably hard to keep up with you, I would think. It's <laughs> kind of people come to stay with me in Montauk for the weekend, and they're like, "I'm never coming I'm just back." Tired. I'm exhausted. Yeah. Saturday afternoon, they're already like, "I'm out." Are yeah. you? What time do you go to bed? Kind of late, like one. Okay, what time do you get up? Depends. Like seven. Okay, so you don't need any sleep. I mean, that's isn't that enough? I don't six, know. Seven, yeah, I guess six, seven hours. I mean, is I go good. to bed at like seven nine. Is like, and wake up at seven. Oh no, I I'm like two. Oh, yeah, you're like Grrr. yeah. Yeah. I like that. Lots of energy. Okay. Um, what else do you want to talk about? <laughs> thinking about um, longevity. I think thinking about um, successes and failures. Okay. I think it's really important to think or t just to know that nothing will ever make you and nothing will ever break you. Okay. And that it's all cumulative and I think you just keep keep on going and and never take no for an answer yep. like all those old fashioned cliches yep. i think they're there they're around for a reason and i think that um it's important to like celebrate something positive mm -hmm. but then move on yeah and, and move on from failure too and move on move on from both yeah learn and move on i like that i like that nothing will ever make you or break you i think you just have to keep Moving forward, you know, I never like, I don't like nostalgia. I don't like retro looking back, yeah. all that stuff. I really only like to think about the next exciting yeah. thing, like eye on the prize, yeah. whatever is next. And I think that that like propels us as a company to not only reach that goal, but like think beyond it yeah. and what's beyond yep. that and what's beyond that. And so I think just 
always thinking forward. I've never celebrated an anniversary. I've never s celebrated some award or yeah. anything like that. I like, just, who cares? Yeah, I just keep... Like, you're like, I'm working on this new swimsuit. Yeah, or whatever. I'm you know, reinvent just like think it. No, it's more like I think about things like, you know, are we going to get in, do the, you know, are we going to do an NFT? Are we going to, is the metaverse yeah, okay, something? Yeah, you're like, is where's the, the world yeah. going? And I want to yeah. be there. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Uh, collaborations and new, um, you know, global business. Yeah. And how, yeah. Are, how are we going to achieve that and all yeah. those things? Like thinking about more like I, I enjoy thinking about the challenges yeah. that are in front of us yeah. more than celebrating the success. Yeah, that's great. That keeps you so sharp, though. It's kind of like surfing. Like, it's like all about the next wave. Yeah. You're like in it. You got to be present. And it's all about the next wave. Yeah. That's incredible. Pick your wave. Pick your what wave do you feel like about being part of the, like, speaking of Christina Tosi, like, she's so funny. She's like, she's like kind of elite in the restaurant business, but she's so like, aw shucks down to earth. I know. Like, that's, that's, that's why I like her. I was like, ugh. But how do you feel about fashion people? I know. Well, that's Fashion why I people said, are the same just way. substitute yeah, her for, you. for cookies yeah. because it's the same exact yeah. thing. I think like I've always been a little bit of an outsider. I mean, I early on won a CFDA award and then I think I just was like, I, I knew that I was different. You know, I yeah. wasn't going to be out riding around in limos yeah. with supermodels. Yeah. You know, I knew that that was not going to be my life. I'd rather be standing on a beach barefoot yeah. in yeah. a wetsuit. You yeah, know? that's right. Or so, designing something. Yeah, or yeah. create. Like, yeah. that's the whole thing about fashion is that I never, I didn't get into it because of fashion. Yeah, yeah. I got into it because I liked making things. Sure, yeah. And I went to art school and I thought I was going to be an artist, but I I'm not, I wanted something more social. Yeah. I wanted to work as a team. I didn't want to be alone in a studio. And I think that, you know, it, it was never the allure of the, the thing. glamorous yeah. side it's of like fashion. It's like you wanted to do the work. I'm the same it way. I the just arts like to work. crafts. Like I like yeah. arts and crafts. Totally. I love <laughs> arts and crafts. I just made handmade napkins for, tie-dyed napkins for, Amazing. that's my holiday gift. They are Awesome. Okay, now wait. I want to ask you something about that. Okay. So if you make a tie dye napkin, and let's say you have, you know, drink some water, yeah, and then you dab your mouth with oh, the you tie dye. Oh, you have the dye all over. You. Yeah, you're yeah. gonna have the like dye. Your on. hands are like the dye is. So everywhere. you're gonna. So your guests are. Gonna oh have... no, not my guests. Okay. <laughs> you that when worked. you wash them? Yeah, I tested it because oh, I okay, had the good. same thing. So yeah, I, I think was you like, have to wash it. You got to wash it a couple of times. Yeah. yeah, that's right. Okay, you like let the dye sit, and then you no, it's not gonna like everyone's not gonna have like a blue purple mouth okay good but it's so fun you did indigo? i did indigo i did every color and then i tried to do them in like sets of four so that such like, a nice gift it's awesome i'm so psyched about it um i it was so fun i did it on thanksgiving I was like, this amazing is so fun. aren't those things i, mean, I love that's shit like, like that okay so take that feeling that feeling of satisfaction that pride that mm -hmm. you get from making that and think about like I guess that's how it, my day is. I know, is. you have my dream job. My, I want to be you. All I ever cared about, my definition of success is to be able to have an idea and make it a reality. Yeah. Yep. Period. Yep. I don't care if it's, uh, you know, on the cover of whatever. Yeah, you're like, or what, in the, I, you're like you know, I just want to make celebrity. Thing. It's that feeling of like being able to have an idea, have a vocabulary and a means to translate yeah. that into an actual real object and then share it with the world yeah it's Done. so cool yeah you're like all day long every day Done. oh that's so fun <laughs> the one thing that i think has also kept me uh engaged uh -huh. and excited and also being a little bit of an underdog you have to have a sense of humor totally and i feel like i have a sense of humor about everything yep. because it's the only it's like it's survival yeah. at times but it's also like part of the entertainment mm -hmm. and part of the thing that makes my job so yeah. much fun every day all the time i love a sense of humor sense of humor is like an underrated skill well people say a sense of 
humor is like a sense of style. Okay. Like you either have it or you don't. Oh, really? I hate. But people I'm who don't hoping have a sense that people have both. Yeah, I would think so. Yeah. I would, would like to think I have both. Have you both. definitely have both. <laughs> <laughs> but comedy is important. Also, being like self-deprecating, being able to make, 100%. make not taking yourself seriously, make, being able to make fun of yourself is what makes people likable. Well, it's real. It's yeah. like the re. It's what makes people real. What, what is you know social media? What yeah. is you know so cool. It's um, no. So I do. Th I really love the funny ladies. Yep. And Who's I love your dressing them. Well, I took Heidi Gardner to the CFDA okay. Awards, yep. and we looked stunning. I must say. Yeah. I mean, she's gorgeous. We have a lot of gorgeous young comedians here. I got this girl really? named Caroline who you will love. She's so funny. She really? makes a song out of everything. <laughs> she's so funny and she's gorgeous. I'm going to bring her. Why don't we bring Caroline I, when we come? She could be a model. She's she could really? be a model. Yeah. I had a funny observation while shooting something recently, shooting social media with a couple of young models, that every time you say something, they repeat it in a, sing in a song. Oh, okay. Like, I'll be like, oh, why don't we just shoot this upstairs? Shoot this upstairs. Oh, really? That's <laughs> yeah. funny. I love that. I know. I just oh, yeah, noticed like that. Her. Yeah, I just noticed that. That it's like. All right, we're gonna bring Caroline and make you a song. Okay. Yeah. That'd I be fun. That. Okay, yeah. we're gonna do that. I just want to make a dress with like one pink stripe on it. Okay. Do you think that'd be cute? Can we do that? Yeah, sure. That's easy. Like a like chartreuse green with like one Hot pink, pink stripe. Yeah. So cute, racing right? Stripe. Just one racing stripe. Yeah. Sporty. I love but a the racing sporty stripe same. on a dress. Same, me too. Our dre our dressy is sporty and our sporty is dressy. Yeah, see, I like that. Yeah. I think that that's so cool. And it's kind of, it makes you happy. Well, also it's like, that is, I think, how people live their lives. Definitely. You know, nobody's, I mean, that's definitely how I live my yeah. life. Yeah, yep. Going between, like, dressing up, but then, you know... Also. Yeah, same. I'm like in my jeans. I've got a dress over there. I got my workout clothes. It's yeah. like my pumps. I know. You know? I see. Look at the Those mix. Those are so fun, right? Hot pink. But they can all pumps. go together. You know. Yeah, that's one person. That is one person, but all people are like that. I think exactly. inside, if they let themselves. Look, you have go. your jeans next yeah, my to jeans. your hot pink pumps. Yeah, so now that put goes that together with that white puffer over there. Yeah, and a like dirty T-shirt. Yeah, that's my look. Amazing. That's so <laughs> funny. All right, thanks, Cynthia. Um, wait. So then, what's next for you? Okay, um, let me see what's next. Um, well, you've got your thing coming out in January. I have I have the all sports coming out in January. I don't know. We we do little. We You're do doing stuff all the time. All the time. We have a, a sip and paint tomorrow night for what's influencers, that? where they're going to come. We have a big giant installation, and they're going to everybody's going to come and dress up in pretty clothes, but then paint canvases oh that's so and fun paint the still life and um that's so I'm gonna cool lead the, you're gonna lead, lead the, the charge to lead the charge and then everybody gets leads with a painting and probably paint on their on their pretty clothing? pretty clothes oh that's so but that's fun kinda cool that's so cool it's that um what's the word and you're gonna film the whole thing that's content yeah so we do stuff like that we do our surf camp we do hmm. um we're gonna do a pickleball tournament we smart, have smart 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 lots of events like that yep. and then uh february you know fashion week we're yep. doing something top secret it's gonna Ooh, can be I really come? good yes you can definitely come i can come yeah 100%. i've only been a fas fashion week once i'd love to go well in september we do big runway shows okay. outside we invite everyone there's like you know because 600 of people, yeah in, yeah because we invite the public yeah. which i love okay great and then um February because we're indoors, you know, it's a little bit more intimate. Is this like the Bryant Park thing? Um, what? No. no. Okay, I won't ask. You. It's gonna be. I have to sneeze. It's top secret. Tune in. <laughs> okay, Bless that's you. fun. All right, we'll uh, come to that. Yeah, I don't know. You know, I just uh, I. You're we just do always creating to, shit. Yeah. Do you did. drive people nuts? Yes. You probably have like a My thousand team ideas. Is, yeah. We. Yeah. Yeah. But that's I, okay. Oh well, they 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 don't really love that i have this motto of say yes to everything because for m so many years in my mm -hmm. early career i would say you know oh i want to do this and people would say no yeah and you're like they'd always you're turn like me i'm down. not in the no department they'd always turn me down yeah 
So now when an opportunity arises, I 90% of the time like, I'm gonna take say it. yes. Yeah. But now they're getting a little bit. Yeah, they get like persnickety. They're like, well, much. we have to handle the yes. And then yeah, exactly. Like, yeah, your yes you becomes can't somebody else's yes problem. And then have me like, handle your yes. Yeah, yeah I get that. Um, well, then maybe let's us come see you. Yeah. We'll do that next. Oh, yeah, Would that come, be fun? Yeah, come to my okay, studio. Okay, we'll come. To, can we And I'll show you the creative process because the creative process is really something that I hope I would like people to see. Okay, great. I want to sort of pull back the, the drape onion. Yeah. And is it an onion? Yeah, or no, it's peel back. You're right. It's the no, drape. Maybe You're it right. Is an no, onion. it's peel back the onion. <laughs> pull back the drape is better. <laughs> Much better. Well, we don't I don't think we have either one at our studio. But anyway, um, yeah, come because okay, I we'll want come. people to see the process because the process is really intense and mm -hmm. it's really hands-on and it's really like the most important thing that drives our company is okay, the creativity. The process. Yeah, the creativity and originality and yeah. authenticity. And then everything else follows. Okay, I love it. We're going to do that, Cynthia. Come. I'm going to find this dress. I'm going to tag you on the internet. <laughs> I'm so mad. Now I'm like, somebody stole my dress, which is not true. I just can't find it in my closet. But it's annoying. Um, well, and then we're going to make the chartreuse pink I might have dress. one of those at my house. I might have one. I have I'd it somewhere. I'd be willing to give up. No, you don't have to give it up. I've, I've gone on my real, real and bought my own clothes because I was like, damn, I didn't get that. You're like, I and love then, that like, one. A year later, I was like, I'm, I see like someone uh, on the team wearing it. I'm like, damn, I wanted that. How'd you and get I go that? Go on the real, real and Good buy for my you. own stuff. Good for you. Circular. Yeah, why not? Good. It's recycling. Yeah. All right, thank you for coming in. Oh, thank you. This was so great. All right, so that's it for today's episode. Thank you for listening. Thank you to Cynthia Rowley for being on our show. We will be back here next week. And if you haven't already, check out our YouTube. You can subscribe to our channel. You can follow us on social. You can follow me on social at Erica. And we will see you next week. <laughs>